case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for despite the rejection in the lower court the public trustee nevertheless appealed calling into question the probate court's discretion and interpretation of the law they argued that the ward's removal to wales constituted a significant enough shift in circumstances to require the termination of the guardianship referring specifically to a precedent set in Leighton v. Pribble. Unfortunately for the appellant, the court maintained its stance. The appeal was denied and the initial decision upheld. The court asserted that the arguments put forth by the public trustee relied heavily on a misuse of the Leighton v. Pribble case and that there was no valid evidence brought forward to point towards mismanagement by the current guardian of the holdings. The court concluded that the ward's best interest remained the central concern and that maintaining the Florida guardianship under the charge of one financial institution was more beneficial for managing his assets. This landmark case reinforces the court's discretion to make fair decisions based on the best interests of the wards. Despite the change in domicile, the court deemed it more beneficial for the ward's financial estate to remain under the stewardship of the Florida-based financial entity. The decision underscores the importance of demonstrating clear evidence when challenging guardianship duties and the higher court's commitment to prioritizing the best interest of the ward in such proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.